Hi and welcome back. My name is Julianne Cost and in this video I'm going to demonstrate my second favorite feature in Lightroom 5 Beta, which is the new radial filter. Now the new radial filter appears in between the graduated filter here and the adjustment brush in the develop module and you can simply click on it to activate it or you can use the keyboard shortcut shift plus M. Now the great thing about this new tool is it's going to allow us to apply any and all of Lightroom's existing local adjustment attributes to a circular mask with a feather fall off. So let's go ahead and load it up. Now you can see that there are already a lot of different options here for different sliders. I want to reset them all so I'll just double click on the word effect. Then we'll take our exposure slider and we'll knock it down a significant amount just to make sure that we can see the effect. And of course one of the advantages here not only to the radial filter but also the adjustment brush and the graduated filter is that I can go ahead and make an adjustment and then I can refine it later on with absolutely no um, destructive editing. So I'll go ahead and click and drag out to create my radial filter. Now, at first it might actually appear that I'm making the center area lighter, but I'm not. And in fact, if we toggle on and off the visibility here of my radial filter, we can see that I'm actually darkening down the area outside of the filter. So it's just important to know that by default, the area outside of the filter is the area that's going to be affected. If I wanted to, I could also change the amount of feather on this radial filter. So if you did want something hard edge, just change the feather down to zero, or you can get it very soft edged by moving it towards 100. I can use these on-screen controls here in order to make my radial filter larger or smaller. If I turn it into more of an oval, I can then position my cursor on top of any of those thin lines there and simply click and drag to rotate it. And of course I can reposition this anywhere in my image. All right. Let's go ahead and just tap the delete key for a minute to remove that so we can learn some keyboard shortcuts. If I simply want a radial filter that encapsulates the entire image or is set to the bounding box of the image bounds, I can hold down the command key on the Mac or the control key on Windows and double click with the graduated filter. You can see that Lightroom has made this as large as possible or as large as my image area. All right, let's tap the delete key there. This time I'm going to hold down the shift key when I click and drag. And you can see that that constrains my radial filter shape to a perfect circle. All right, again, I will tap the delete key. And this time, instead of just dragging, because you'll see that if I just drag, Lightroom's gonna drag the filter from the center. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna tap the delete key again. I'm gonna hold down the option key on the Mac or the alt key on Windows. And now we can see that I can click and drag from the upper left portion of the circle for the um, radial filter. All right, and then I'll go ahead and let go. Obviously, if this is too much of an effect, we can come back here to the exposure slider and change that at any point in time. And if I change my mind and I decide that I would rather have the filter um, expand itself to the entire image, I can hold down the Command key on the Mac or the Control key on Windows and double click anywhere inside the radial filter in order to expand it. And of course the radial filter is not just for vignetting. Let's go ahead and move to the next image for a moment. And I will click and drag out a radial filter here and then reposition it to kind of put the spotlight in this area of my image. And I'll go ahead and keep my exposure decreased a little bit, but I also want to throw the area out here out of focus. So I'm going to take the sharpness slider down to the left. Now, if I wanted to increase that even more, if I wanted it even more of a blur out there, then I could duplicate my radial filter. I can always make another one by simply clicking and dragging, but that wasn't what I wanted to do. So let's tap delete and then select the original radial filter. And this time I'm gonna hold down the command and the option key or the control and the alt key on Windows. And I'm gonna click and drag in order to make a duplicate. Now in this instance, I might not want to duplicate the lowering of exposure. So I'll double click on the word exposure to reset that slider. 
but I am still decreasing the sharpness. So now I have twice as much of an unsharp kind of look to my image. Of course, there's times when you might also want to change what's inside of the radial filter. So let's make one more duplicate. I'm going to hold down the Command and Option again, or Control Alt again, and make another duplicate. And in this case, I'm going to invert the mask by clicking either on the little check mark here next to Invert Mask, or I can tap the apostrophe key to invert it. But instead of decreasing sharpness, I'm going to move the slider over to the right in order to increase the sharpness in this radial filter. And of course, I can combine that with anything else I want if I wanted to increase exposure a little bit, maybe increase contrast, maybe even add a different bit of a color in that area. I could do that as well. So as you can see, there's lots of different options for the radial filter in the Lightroom 5 Beta. Be sure to check it out and let us know what you think.